everybody, this is Jim Nerves the Laic. Now, today I'm going to be recording Battlefront 2. Specifically, I'm going to be starting my full stealth run through of the campaign mode. Uh, yeah, once again, my nemesis, the loading screen. Uh, oh wow, 200 FPS on the loading screen. <laughs> anyway, so going to be trying to go through every mission without any AI seeing me, period. In other words, all stealth takedowns. So this should be fun. Whenever it loads. Aha! Timing! Oh. Alright. And headphones on. Why do I still have the little loading circle? What is this? Alright, gonna go ahead and skip that. Uh, what? Excuse me? Uh, no. That's not what I wanted to click on. Okay. Haha, <laughs> got it. Single player. And... What? Okay. Yeah. Something tells me this is gonna be a bit of a bug fix episode, so yeah, go ahead and stick around for that, but uh, I don't think this is gonna be my stealth run through. Let's see just how bad this bug is, really. Okay. Because I remember the old uh, uh, Battlefront 1, the 2015 version, did actually do this. So, hang on, let's let's just see how bad it is in-game, if it's something I can live with, or uh, what's going on here. It'll only be a moment. Though, I'm... Sure, you already know from the title whether this is stealth run through or you know bug fix. Hey, hey, haha! <laughs> but start as. Well, this is something. This is something I could live with, but it's still a pain. Whoa! Okay. I guess pre-battle calisthenics. Cursor is still here. Uh oh, the cursor is moving off of the screen onto the other screens. That's uh, gonna be an issue. Yep, looks like this is gonna be a bug fix video. So if you're having this issue, stick around and I'll see what I can do. Uh oh, oh. Yeah, I just clicked out of the game. Oh, I'll be back in a bit. See y'all in a moment. Okay, so... I think, uh... I think I figured out what's going on. I guess... Origin uh, Origin games aren't so compatible with their little in-game overlay. So, uh, let's see. The first thing I saw was to go to application settings and to uh, disable, hang on, it'll be under more and origin in-game and disable origin in-game there. Wow, it actually let me disable it this time. Now, the first time I tried that, I should say this, for some reason, this little slider was grayed out, so it wouldn't let me disable it here. So what I had to do was go to my game library and go to uh, Battlefront 2 itself and go to settings, game properties, and disable origin in-game for Battlefront 2. 
So, yeah. Let's go ahead and try it, make sure it worked. And I'll just be testing it with instant action again. Sorry this one went kind of slow. I know the intro took a little while. Might edit that down a little bit. <laughs> Take out some of the stuff about the stealth run-through. Because, you know, this is not, in fact, a stealth run-through. Okay, what content am I going to have for this loading screen? I mean, seriously. Nope. Okay, so, yeah. This, this had it solved last time, or a few minutes ago when I tried it. And if I remember correctly, this is what I had to do to get rid of a similar error in Battlefront 1 from 2015, which uses the same engine. Uh, if you can see, when this starts up in windowed mode, the title bar across the top says, uh, I'll think of it in a moment. Uh, well, it says the name of the engine. Why can't I think of, uh, the name of it at the moment? Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna test it with a quick game of, uh, instant action. No, I'm not gonna upload the full game, just enough to... I mean, you can see that the cursor's working right now. And the other time I loaded this up that I was having that error, it didn't actually show the cursor. So that was a bit of an improvement, because, I mean, it didn't have the little loading circle. So I had absolutely no idea where the cursor was. All right, here we go. Someone's malfunctioning if they think attacking our home's a good idea. Show them the so I'm gonna try. Any scrap pile one of these take our I can't functions. click off of the uh, game screen, so that's a good sign. Yeah, no, it appears to be functioning properly. Yeah, I'm gonna take out a few of these. Alright. Yeah, I, I can't think of any marvelous or uh, breathtaking commentary at the moment, so... Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna have to make do. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Command post D. I actually really like the new instant action gameplay. It really reminds me of Conquest from the old game. Which is really something, because that was my favorite game mode, and honestly, I think it was everybody's favorite game mode, but... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sniper, huh? Yeah, I'm probably not hitting him from here. Whoa, buddy. Watch it. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. Uh, I feel like that was a bit of a bug. <laughs> Threw the grenade while I was still cooling down from sentry mode, so it played no animation. Okay, then. That's one of the ones that's pretty easy to find, and even easier to predict that it'd be there. But hey. And there he is. Uh... Okay, then. Forces have lost control of command post arc. Is he in sentry mode? Well, maybe he was, but I never knew it. Oh. Okay, I'm getting a little cheeky. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, fell off the side. Crash. These AIs don't seem to do well with blitz. And yeah, I have the uh, thermal vision scope on the gun. I find the addition of the uh, better targeting reticule to be pretty nice. Alright, let's see... Oh, enemy in this direction. Was that take fall damage? I think that was take fall damage. Alright, anyway, moving out. Moving on the next objective. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you were just here for the bug fix, 
go ahead and yeah, you've got what you needed. Just disable uh, origin in game. That ought to help. Whoa. I'm not sure how or why I survived that. I don't think I should have. Oh. Well, there's the correction. Anyway, I'm probably going to leave it at that, so... Uh, go ahead and tell me what you thought in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if this helped. If you've been encountering the same issue, or if this doesn't solve the issue, go ahead and say something about that in the comments, and I'll see what I can do. Other than that, have a great day, and see you in the next video. Uh, as always.